Hey there Taurus, welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay, I'm an astrologer and intuitive channeler. So this video here is your timeless reading. So whenever it is you are coming across this video and clicking on it, then that is when there is some kind of a message in here for you. And it could be just one thing that you were brought here to receive and it could be the entire reading. So. Um, take it as it resonates, only as it resonates. Um, I do recommend uh, watching these for your sun sign as well as your rising sign as I found that the readings for your rising sign can also be very, very accurate here. Um, and then other than that, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it or you find it helpful and subscribe to the channel Serious About Stars so you don't miss some future content that will be coming and Taurus um we'll go ahead and get right into your reading here so I have meditated on your energy I will share with you some intuitive downloads that I felt I have pre-pulled some cards and then towards the end we will pull some cards live and on camera so do stay for that but Taurus um so when I meditated on your energy what I what I saw is like it's like you come across this almost what I saw was this owl uh, stuck in some rope or something, um, like in the branches. This owl just resembles uh, maybe somebody that you help out, somebody who is um, in a bind or in trouble, and you make this conscious decision to help them. Um, and, and through helping them, helping them get unstuck, you maybe realize that you actually are stuck in some kind of a way that you didn't even know about. And maybe through this experience of, of kind of helping this other person, you learn how you can also help yourself when you didn't even know that you needed any kind of help. Um, but, but getting yourself unstuck as well. Um, just realizing, getting this, this insight that you were not seeing, were not picking up on. Um, it could also, it could also, uh, play out in the way that maybe, maybe it's just this instant good karma for, um, helping someone in, but the way that this comes through is maybe somehow through this, um, some area of your life that has been stuck or stagnant suddenly gets freed up some kind of um, a miracle or epiphany even, um, something just the energy frees up in some area of your life that has been just kind of at a standstill or almost seemingly at a dead end, something gets freed up. Um, that, and it has maybe this connection to, I don't know, this person that represent is represented by this owl it could also be that you cross paths with um somebody who is just very wise or you see is very wise or maybe just mysterious um and maybe through some kind of a, an experience with this person you realize that you're not much different maybe you thought before that you didn't have much in common but maybe you realize you see yourself in them or you see I don't know, it may be, I just, I feel like it unlocks a door within yourself, a door that is already within you. Um, maybe, you, you know, with the owl as well, you know, the symbolism there, maybe, maybe this is about exploring an area in your life that you, that maybe has actually been kind of like calling you, tugging on you and you've been looking away. Uh, maybe because it was unfamiliar or maybe it provoked some level of fear. Um, but Taurus, I, I don't know. I, I see this, this exploration, this, this inspiration, this, this tapping into your intuition as well. Um, yeah, really tapping into your intuition, um, accessing your own, um, inner wisdom. Um, yeah, I think that was pretty much it for the, um, the downloads there. So I have pre-pulled some cards. Now I asked for some underlying themes that could be coming up beneath the surface around this time that you are watching this video. The first card that came out was honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. If, if things seem particularly confusing or just kind of all jumbled up um, at this time, 
Um, all you, all you are responsible for in, in the sense is, is yourself. And there is this obligation to be honest with yourself, not in this being meaning not to assume, not to assume things, not to feed yourself maybe, um, but you don't really know our lies. Something there, um, I don't know. I don't know, um, but yeah, you can't always expect the truth from others, but you can expect it from yourself. Maybe there is this, this, this um, higher calling to honesty. Um, delve further into the truth, maybe. Maybe, um, yeah, I don't know, something about delving further into the truth. Uh, you know, even with this, this message of wisdom and the owl coming out, um, tapping into your own intuition and, and wisdom, inner wisdom. The card adversity also came out for you. Um, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. Accept the challenges that perhaps you are facing, you know, and don't envy, you know, others for, for not having these, these obstacles. They have their obstacles that maybe you don't have. Um, something about embracing, accepting the challenges for, and, and knowing that they will propel you so much, so such a distance in the, in the, in the uh, along the path that is meant for you. Mm. And pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Um, interesting the way that these cards have come out together, adversity and pride. Um, maybe, maybe this is also kind of, um, you know, and it's interesting too in your meditation how I, I picked up on this, this other energy, this other person. I feel like with a lot of the meditations for all the signs, I don't usually pick up on somebody else, but there, there, I feel Taurus, like there is somebody that you are connecting with very deeply and in a really significant way that is just maybe unexpected. And I feel that through this, somebody you are learning so, so much about yourself. They might be even like um, some kind of like a guide in your life. I don't know. I feel like there's this, um, I don't know, this, this new chapter that you are opening, this new door that you are opening and gaining so much through this experience. Um, I have pulled a card for an angel message for you, Taurus. So my intention here is to channel messages directly from your angels for you. The card that came out was number 33, success. All right, and I'll read the description from this card as well. Um, through your hard work and dedication in one aspect of your life, you are about to experience great success. Continue to hold a vision of the outcome you desire and allow yourself to daydream about it all unfolding exactly as you would love. You have, you already have everything it takes to succeed in this situation. You need now to surrender and let it happen. You've done the work. It's like if you've, it's like there's some area you've done the work now allow allow the work that you've done to kind of kind of speak for itself in 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 some kind of a way i don't know um and you can say to yourself if you'd like i have in me all that it takes to achieve a fulfilled and happy life all my power lies in the way i think i consciously attract joy love abundance happiness into my life I deserve to succeed, Taurus, you deserve to succeed and, and you will succeed. I do feel that there's been this long time goal of yours, maybe that, I don't know. And maybe this is the thing that it feels like that you've reached maybe a stagnant or a stuck place and that energy is getting freed up. That energy is getting freed up. Um, interesting, okay. Um, and it's like, it has to do with, um, compassion for others, something about compassion for others. Um, 
uh, eagle came out as a spirit animal message ancestral healing your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past i feel maybe yeah your ancestors even angels are are really watching over you right now helping you out um so don't worry about you know failing or, or or falling in some kind of a way i feel that there is so much protection there is so 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 much protection over you right now um yeah you know it's interesting the owl and the eagle have both come out here um something about birds i feel like i've gotten up before in readings for you taurus about birds being really significant but it's like they're maybe maybe like even more significant than ever i don't know something about birds interesting um yeah i don't know i love that i love that for you taurus okay um so i have pulled some cards um for your love life relationships um a little insight there this can these can speak to your romantic love life um they could also speak to platonic you know friendships relationships with family members however uh take it as it resonates allow these cards to um land where they fit don't force these these cards into certain maybe places where they don't actually fit so allow your own intuition to to kind of fill in the rest of these messages i'll go through them pretty quickly the first card that came out was calling your calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help you help bring you together um the way that this card came out it was it came out super powerful super strong this is the strong i feel that this is the strongest kind of energy in through these cards here so um, I feel that there is this also this like mag magnetic like magnetic attraction pulling the two of you together even if you don't see each other like even if there's distance or separation here there is this magnetic pulling together I feel like you are both calling each other in at the same time and I don't know I'm just getting this this I don't know this almost like magical like um reconnection reconnection even if you are with this person now maybe this is like a new kind of spark in your relationship that is taking things to the next level uh some kind of a change here definitely i feel some kind of a change embrace this change accept this change it is for your your highest good your highest good pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you and I feel that this is also where it's important to listen to your intuition. Um, I feel like there is definitely this call to to tap for deeper into your intuition. Like if you if you, if your intuition is like a pool of water, this is stepping more into that that your own intuition, and allow yourself to to see these signs. I feel like there are maybe signs coming up and here and there, and it's like wanting to look away or turn your head somewhere else you want to deal with that maybe i don't know but the signs are cautioning you um i, I got the sense of a blindfold taking out some kind of a blindfold in this imagery here she's wearing this hat and she's pulling like the veil away pulling the veil away interesting yeah hmm keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Maybe there is effort required on your part here. If it's important to you, though, if it's important to you, you'll make the effort. I feel like this is... I don't know, something here, I'm, I'm also picking up on both people need to make the effort. Both people need to make the effort. I'm also kind of getting like if somebody has been making the effort for you or pursuing you, um, and you, and if you really like them, if you really care about them, if you really want to keep them in your life, 
I don't know, I feel like there is there is a need to, I don't know, speak up or um, make the effort as well. Um, I don't know, I feel, I feel suddenly like this isn't going to be for everyone, but I feel like somebody has maybe been, um, not like blowing someone off, but like pushing, like saying, like delaying, I don't know, delaying something in the relationship, needing more time or something. Um, but I feel like there's this need now to make the effort if it's something that if you, you, if you care about, if you want this relationship to, to um, be in your future, there is this need to make the effort now. For somebody let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others i don't know this could be just like talking about it with somebody um getting other perspectives to better understand your own perspective yeah i don't know using this angle this other person's angle maybe to help kind of fill in parts of your own perspective and, and angle your own perspective of, of a relationship of a relationship in general soulmate yes this is your soulmate you know if somebody has been asking a yes or no question in in a relationship um yes this is your soulmate i get the feeling that there is there is divine timing at play and maybe things have been delayed um but the time is coming. Your time is coming. Something about your time is coming. Maybe if you've been wondering, when will it be our time? Time is coming. Your time is coming. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. I feel like if you've recently met somebody new, already met someone, this person is significant. This person could even be like, like the person that you cross paths with in the meditation that resembled this owl. This could be a very wise or mysterious person kind of i don't know unlocking parts of your of you i don't know i feel like this is a really just like special time for you where um like a time that you'll look back on and be like oh my gosh that was when that all began wow you know i don't know it's really really lovely energy there when i said that i looked up and i saw the time was 17 minutes 17 seconds and I don't know, I've been finding that number significantly. So that's interesting. Um, I feel like that is just kind of confirmation that this is a really special and significant time in your life, Taurus. All right, with well, this part of the reading, I will pull some cards live and on camera. So Taurus, bring me any questions that you have still on your mind or heart up to the surface now. You can ask out loud or in your mind whatever feels right to you we'll see what comes out for you taurus messenger of earth this is also the knight of pentacles i feel like maybe maybe it feels like something has been taking a long time to happen but that is because it, something is it's happening the right way it's happening the true and right way this is like when it reaches you, by the time that this comes into fruition, it will be so much more solid than it could have been if it came faster. Trust, trust in the timing. Trust that you would prefer it to take as long as it's taking because of how much more rewarding and stable and fruitful it will be. Something is, is fruitful, something is going to be fruitful you wouldn't want it to have grown faster because it wouldn't have, I don't know, it wouldn't be the same. This is, I don't know. I don't know, this is, this is doing it right. This is preferable, even though it's taking longer than you'd like for it to. Um, this is gonna be, this is solid. Something here is 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 gonna be, I don't know. I feel like I, I feel the message, but I'm not like explaining it. And it's like for its full truth and um, how amazing it really is. But something is just amazing. Trust. Have trust, Taurus. Okay. Three of Earth came out. Three of Earth came out. Yeah, I, I'm getting some kind of a collaboration or a conversation 
here, a conversation. Maybe this is like an offer. Maybe this is like a project that you are working on and getting help with, or maybe you are helping somebody on some kind of a project that becomes more significant than um, it was in the beginning. Something is, I don't know, interesting. I feel like this has to do with your meditation though. Um, I don't know, I feel like you're you're seeing something from a new perspective, seeing something that you you you've seen before, but you saw it differently. You're you're seeing certain details, you are learning something, you are um having epiphanies, you are learning, you're understanding. And something about the stillness here, the stillness she has, and then the moths or butterflies, whatever they are, <laughs> just landing on her. Something about this, this stillness in this perspective is is attractive is very attractive is attracting um it's attracting something i i'm getting i feeling suddenly attracting change but the change that the changes that you need that your soul needs um but i'm also getting like attracting wisdom here Okay, that card fell. Okay, I gotta get it. <laughs> okay. All right, that was the Ace of Fire. Wow. Okay, so something is happening. Something is really, really, really happening. And, um, ah, get the hair out of my face. Um, I don't know. I'm getting this something really coming to the surface within you. Um, like you, something you can't deny anymore. Maybe you are denying something and you can't deny it anymore. And you're so excited and you're so happy and you're you're embracing this, embracing something in your life. Maybe it's this change, change in direction, but it is like like maybe this like fully charged energy where I don't know that I get this like rejoicing like energy, just this really beautiful like yes energy as well. Ah, Taurus. I love this. Um, okay, what else? Okay, ooh, king of fire. Um, okay, I'm getting this like attractive energy. Um, maybe it is somebody finds you so, so beautiful or attractive or um, they see like, like they see the sun in you. I don't know, maybe someone sees the sun in you. Ah, um, Or maybe, um, I don't know, I'm also kind of getting suddenly like, you have helped this person like, come to the light, I don't know, see the light in things, or you've brightened up somebody's world like a lot. And, um, Or this could be vice versa. Maybe somebody has brightened up your world. Um, I don't know. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Hey, Lou. Sorry. Come on. You guys get down there. Thank you. Started just like nudging the back of the, the camera and ring light there. Okay. I don't know, but I'm getting this like also this like um this like silence. This this peaceful silence with somebody maybe, this um, admiration. I'm getting this admiration. This even this mutual admiration. This acceptance. This this seeing, seeing something. Seeing maybe the um, truth. I don't know. Maybe this like the truth in a connection or a relationship. Being to that that love, maybe this is falling in love, maybe this is realizing you're in love, or somebody falling in love with you. Ooh, I love it, Taurus. Okay, let's get one final message, Taurus, to close this reading for you. One final message that this Taurus need to receive here. One final message. Nothing's coming out. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's the reading. What else? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Finally, some things came out. Ugh, a lot of cards came out. Oh, 
lot of cards came out. Too many cards came out. I'm sorry. I gotta reshuffle that. <laughs> okay, it was like, well, like, like seven cards came out there. Okay, there we go. One card. Three of fire. Three of fire. Okay, okay. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting this, um, this, this new journey setting out on this, this journey and being really excited about it. Um, something about like the sunset as well. I think that's a sunset, sunset or sunrise, something about that. Something about the sun here is significant in your reading. Um, and the candles that have been lit. I don't know this, like, I get this like saying yes to something. I'm getting this, maybe this adventure, this journey, um, this trip, even maybe you're going on a trip with somebody. Um, something maybe that you didn't think was possible is possible and you're doing it. And um, I don't know, I get this is something that you've been like waiting for and you're, you're finally getting to do it. I love it, I love it. It's, I get this very exciting energy here. All right, Taurus, that will close the reading. Thank you for watching. Um, do come again to the next video and have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you guys then. Bye.